Good evening, everyone. This is your host, Michael, here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Sharp Style Podcast. As the title suggests, today we're talking all about learning to properly tie a tie. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Isn't tying a tie pretty basic stuff? Well, believe it or not, it's actually a skill that many folks struggle with. Even I had my fair share of lopsided, uneven knots as a youngster trying to dress up for school. But fear not. After many trial and error attempts, I like to think I've got it pretty much perfected now. And I'm here to share my secrets with all of you out there still having trouble with this delicate operation. Stick around and by the end of our time together, I guarantee you'll be ready to tie a knot worthy of GQ magazine. To kick things off, let's talk basics. You'll need the standard tie accessories, a collared shirt so you have something to knot it around, and of course the tie itself. I recommend practicing with silk or wool fabrics that hold their shape better than crappy poly blends. You'll also want a mirror on hand so you can inspect your handiwork. All right, now on to the step-by-step -step instructions. We'll be learning everyone's favorite, the Windsor knot. It's elegant yet simple enough for beginners. I'll walk you through the crossover maneuvers, wraps, and pulls required to form the perfect symmetrical shape. Just follow along with me, move for move. Once that's down, I've also got some bonus pro tips for tying like a boss. Things like matching your tie width to your collar size or knowing where to end the tail so it hits just right. Style is all about the details, after all. So in summary, guys, give this podcast a listen, take notes as I demo tying a tie live, and then hit replay as many times as you need until you've mastered the art. I promise with some practice, you'll be dressing to impress in no time. Tie one on for me. Until next time, this is Michael signing off. Stay stylish, my friends.